Good day guys, welcome back to this beautiful, stinking hot 31 degree day. And it's so humid, I'm, I'm sweating, <laughs> I'm sweating bullets. Now today is a real quick recce and a quick test of a new piece of kit that I've just, uh, that I've just bought. Check this bad boy. Look at that, look at that. Picked this up from a local auction site. I think I paid about maybe, I can't remember, 100 and, $120, I think, New Zealand dollars. It is something that I'd never heard of before. It's a folding camera, I've heard of that bit. But this is apparently quite a rare Ferrania Falco 2. And she is beautiful. Look at that, look at that. I've had a quick look online. Now there's only one video that I can find on YouTube regarding this camera. And unfortunately, it's all in Italian. Now, apart from the odd few phrases of Italian, such as Peroni, Edi Ciao Baby, Pizza, Lasagna, just the basics, you know, just enough to get me by, I can't understand Italian. So, uh, unfortunately, that video looks pretty cool. I, I don't understand what they're on about. Other than that, there's no other video on YouTube about this particular camera that I can find anyway. There's very little information online as well. A lot of the hits online are for auctions, you know, to, to actually purchase one of these cameras. So there's not a lot of information about it. The main bits of information I've got really, that this was made in Italy, 1948. Ferrania was a film company. They used to make film, photographic film, and then occasionally they branched out into cameras. There was a Falco 1 and a Falco 2, which is this one, and then a Falco S. 6x9 camera, so off of a roll of 120 film, I can get eight frames. It's 110 millimeter f6.3 to f25 lens what sort of lens is it paul i don't know without looking you've lost your notes haven't you fat boy i have i've made a few little notes like you do i've got a memory like a senile goldfish so it's made in 48 105 millimeter galileo tirog f6.3 to f25 lens it's got a pronto s shutter shutter speeds range from bulb mode one three hundredth of a second now unfortunately what i've done i've done a few little tests without filming this and the higher speeds work in no problems whatsoever. When you get down to sort of 150th and below, there's definitely a little bit of a lag. I'm gonna, when I get down to it, I'm gonna get some lighter fluid and just try and free those uh, those shutter blades up a little bit. It'll be fine for the higher shutter speeds. Uh, and guys, that is realistically all I can tell you. I mean, tch, I've, there my notes, that's it. That's the, that's the notes. And that's by just looking at the camera. The only thing I didn't know was the date. Uh, but it was 48. Now apparently I'm the second owner of this camera. First owner was a, a gentleman who, uh, who I believe was overseas during the uh, Second World War and on his way back to New Zealand picked up this camera and it's been in his possession ever since. I've loaded a roll Ilford FP4 into the camera. Eight frames, we're going to see what we can make. Now at the moment, like I say, it's stinking, stinking hot. I'm just out on the push bike for a bit of a ride. We've got a bit of a storm coming apparently this afternoon, but initially we've got this cornfield, we've got a lot of corn at the minute coming towards harvest time. Beautiful blue sky with some seriously moody clouds. Let's take a shot guys, the first shot with a Ferrania Falco 2. And there's no rangefinder in this camera, it's just a view camera. We've got a little distance scale here that ranges from, I think these are feet, are, they, are these feet? Yes they are, so it ranges from three feet to 50 feet and then infinity. I'm gonna set this at infinity. So look through the uh, little viewfinder thing. We're about to take our first shot with a Falco 2. It's not really a lot. To the shot to be fair. I'm trying to get something uh, interesting for the shot but nah, there's not a lot going on. I'm just going to take the shot anyway just because I seriously want to find out if this camera works and like a foot I had my thumb right next to the shutter lever and as I took the shot <laughs> my thumb was in the way so uh, that's probably probably a wasted shot straight away. Fantastic. Not to worry, it was crap anyway. Okay, what we're gonna do is just wind the film on so I don't forget. So winding on, winding on, winding on. Frame number two. Okay, let's just shut this up. Shut this up and move on. Try and make a better shot because to be fair, I made the right balls of that. Beautiful to the north. Not so much to the south. That's where we're heading. Just had a couple of beautiful lightning strikes. 
one of the hills there. Toby Fox came down. Bit of a rumble going on. I'm scared. I'm scared. But before I get too scared, I'm going to get a shot of these hail, ba hail bales. Hay bales. That there low loader. And the storm clouds in the background. I'm melting. It's so hot. Just try and make a shot. F9 150th. Set to infinity. Crop the shutter. Keep your fingers out of the way of the shutter this time. Half wit. Just going to come this way a little bit. Put a little bit of separation between the truck and the hay bales. Just like that. Shot number two. Well, this is going quite easy. Just going to close the close the camera, lift the gaffer tape up, open the window, wind on to number three. There we go, big circle, bigger circle, big big circle. Number three. Oh, how good's this? It's almost like I know what I'm doing with this bad boy. A few rumbles of thunder knocking about. I'm thinking, I might make a shot from here, looking back over towards the storm. Looks pretty cool. I might just put one of these power poles in the foreground, like something like that. If I could just get one strong lightning strike to twat that power pole. Let's get there. Oh, oh, did you see that, guys? <laughs> Showtime, but I missed it. My camera wasn't even nearly set up, not even out of the bag. Freaking useless. Now I'm no meteorologist, but I think that's getting closer. Why did I miss that? Why, Why was I not ready for that? That's better. Give me a big lightning strike, guys. I'm, I'm ready for. Again. <laughs> that made me jump. Uh, that frame I've just taken, I missed the lightning strike. And my finger was on the shutter. So uh, that's probably balls up again. The joys of old tech. Keep your fingers away. Well, it's thunders all around me. Here comes the rain. Stop rumbling, start flashing, come on. You know for a fact when I put the camera down, it's gonna freaking flash its ass off. Come on. Shot anyway, fishing down. Wind on the little Falco, he's getting wet. Well, I'm out of the rain belt. Storm's behind me now. Sadly, I've got a puncture. <laughs> I haven't got a repair kit on me. Tragic. Five k's left to walk. But I don't care. How gorgeous is that? I'm going to try and make a shot just of that there. Let's see how it goes. Another shot with a little Falco. That's three shots left, guys. And then we can get this devved, see if this beautiful, beautiful little camera works. I hope so. I really hope so. More to the point, if the camera works all good, have I done the job? That's the tester. 
All right, let's walk on. I'll do a ride. Do a ride on a flat tyre. I'm thinking ride as far as I can. Let's just take a little shot with a Canon M50. Just of that scene, just right there. Well, we're through the storm, but it's still lingering about in the background. That's going to make quite a nice shot, I reckon. It's quite a nice shot. Though I say to myself, a little bit of decent sunlight, moody as hell, storm clouds in the background. I make focus. Little medium pig, number seven. Close the window. All right, two frames left. I'm just going to turn the vlogging camera around, take a shot of this scene with a video camera because I think it looks quite nice. Just look at that light over the hills there. Seriously, seriously dark storm clouds. Beautiful sunlight in the foreground. Beautiful conditions these. We're going to try and look for a shot with those hills in the background and that black sky. There's not much in the foreground because you've got the path here, just up ahead there. We've got the uh, the local sewage treatment plant, so I'm not thinking that's going to make a great shot to be fair. A bit of stink. This is going to be the last shot on this roll of film. Golden Hill, fence post, moody as all hell sky. It's going to be in black and white though, so you don't see the golden bit. And that is that. So we can now open that, wind right on until we're finished. I think that's it guys, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure but I think that's it. Feels like that's it. So I'll leave it in the camera until I get back to base. That could be a wrap guys, that could be a, well no, no not could be. That is a wrap. Now to go see what we've got.